Dr. King was a civil rights leader that fought against racism and inequality in the 1950s and 60s. He believed all people should be treated equal and have the same rights. He led many nonviolent protests and spoke many great speeches. His most famous speech being the I have a dream speech. Hello and welcome to the studio. Today we're drawing the great Dr. King. You'll need that handy dandy drawing tool. It can be a marker, crayon, or a pencil. And at the bottom of your paper, put today's date because all great artists date their work. You'll also need to find a round flat object. We're gonna trace this round flat object. At the bottom of your paper, place that round flat object at the bottom. Try to center it as best as you can and bring it all the way down. We don't need the whole thing on there. We just need just a little bit. You're gonna hold that round flat object down. You're going to take your time and trace. Or do whatever feels comfortable for you. Take it off and put it over to the side. And just like that, we just drew the world. So easy, so carefree, right? Next, we're gonna draw Dr. King. We're gonna start off with his hairline. And hey, I know that sounds funny, but we'll start off there just to make it really easy for you. And we'll start with a horizontal line in this area here. And that horizontal line will be met with two diagonal lines. So I'll start off with a little diagonal line here, and I'll start off with a little diagonal line there. And we'll try to make sure that they're the same size or as, as best as possible. We're gonna draw two vertical lines, but two vertical lines that actually like slightly curve. So I'm gonna slightly curve and hook it right there. I come over to the other side and come down and slightly hook it there. And then I can go ahead and connect. Lovely, great job. So now we have Dr. King's head. Next, we're gonna move on to his eyes. And so I'll start with two lines, one here, and I'll start off with a line right here. And then I'll try to make sure that they are um, as even as possible, same on both sides as possible. On top of those lines, I'm going to draw a half oval. One, two. And then I can shade those in if I want to, or if I even want to like a little highlight in there. I can make a little highlight if I wanted to. I just drew a curved line and then shaded the rest in. I'll move on to his nose by drawing a curved line that goes down, over, and up. And the bottom of that nose, I'm gonna just try to thicken that line just a little bit, just to show a little definition in his nose. From there, I'll draw a nice little smile. And we're gonna draw his lips. So the bottom part of his lip, is just gonna be a little curved line, similar to what we did up here. The top will be a little different. The top portion, we're going to draw a little V. And then we'll make that V into an M by adding a diagonal line out here and a diagonal line out here. And to make Dr. King's mustache, we're just gonna thicken that M. So I'm gonna thicken here, I'm gonna thicken here, thicken here, thicken here. And this part you can thicken really as much as, as you see fit. So I thickened his mustache. We'll move up here to his eyebrows, which we'll start off with a straight line and at the end, curve. A straight line and at the end, Curve. Bring my line a little further over this way. And then we can do the same thing of then we can do the same thing of thickening that line. 
thickening that line just a little bit more and we have dr king's face now we can move on to his ears which start off with a nice loop on one side and a nice loop on the other side followed by two little curved lines for details so curve 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 and then we can make the whole rest of his hair. So I'm gonna start here, and it's very important that you stick really close to this line. You don't wanna make his hair too big. And so starting here, we're just gonna curve. I'm trying to stay really close to that line. Curve, curve, and down. And if you make a mistake and you're like, hey, I, I was too close to that line, can always go back around and just color in his hair and that line will magically disappear but I like mine I'll probably color in my hair just a little bit later now we're gonna move on to dr. King's suit and his whole body and we'll start off with a V and that V is gonna start at his chin come down and go up to the other side of his chin so I start here take the V down Make it go back up. And from there, we can move on to his shoulders. So now that we have this V, we're gonna start at this side of the V and we're gonna go line over for a shoulder. And on this side, we'll do the same thing, line over for a shoulder. Great. And then we'll bring a line down for the arm. So line down for an arm, line down for an arm. And to get the sides of his body in this area here, we'll add a line here and a little line there. And this one, I, I want to bring in just a little bit more and I'll be able, when I color, I'll be able to get rid of that line. And now we'll make his collar. And so we'll go line, line. And then we'll move to the tie with a smile and two lines down. And there's the great Dr. King. Add details and color it in to make the sketch your own. And happy Dr. Martin Luther King Day of Service. And as always, create to make our world a better place.